Hi, welcome back to the Love Luxury YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this amazing Birkin 35 Himalayan. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like and comment. So what is it about these bags that make them so special? The simple answer is that these bags are solely reserved for Hermes v VIP customers. They are not easy to get hold of. Even if you've built up a massive sales history with Hermes, the likelihood of being offered a bag like this is still slim to none. So why is it so slim to none? The reason is because these bags are so hard to craft. These are not easy bags to make by any stretch of the imagination. First of all, they're made from Nihiliticus crocodile, which is a saltwater crocodile from the Nile. And they are reared from young and then cared for throughout their lives in very specific situations so they live in an environment that's free from anything that can snag or harm them so they don't get scars on their skins and they're also kept apart from each other and they're reared from between 5 and 15 years so once one of these crocodiles these nihiliticus crocodiles is ready to be crafted into a handbag it's the right size they've been granted um, the CITES to say that the skin was taken ethically, we then have to get to the process of colouring these bags. And that in itself is no mean feat. Crocodile and alligator skins are renowned for holding on to their colour and being very difficult to strip bare to then produce the colours that we see like this bag here. So this one here is called a Himalayan Blanc, which means white and the reason for that is because of the white shade down the center of the bag now as we can see it gradiates out to this darker gray brown color so while many people think that the name of this bag derives from the region that the creatures come from that's actually not true the reason they're called a Himalayan Birkin or Himalayan Kelly is because of the way that the colouring on the bag looks like the Himalayan mountains, the snow-capped mountains. So very white down the middle, as I said, gradiating out to the grey-brown on the outer edge. And for this reason, they're named the Himalayan. So the scales on a crocodile on these Nihiliticus crocodiles are much larger than alligator and what's so special about them is that the scales are very symmetrical so you will get a distinct line down the middle and then matching scales across the bag and that's what's so beautiful about these bags and actually the more perfectly symmetrical a bag is the higher the value is so let's talk about how they get the colour to this. First of all, they strip back the colour from the crocodile, which we already said is a really hard and tough process. So when it's virtually white, what they then do is dye over the top. And that's what we get, this brown to white contrast, which is not an easy process. But on top of it not being an easy process, this bag is a matte finish. Now, the matte finish is much harder to come by than the shiny, the lise finish. The lise finish is created from an agate stone, polished by an agate stone. The matte finish is created with a wool felt. It's very time consuming. It has to be perfect. And for that reason, these bags, all of these factors combined together makes these bags very, very rare. Hardly any of these bags are created and they are therefore reserved for the elite of the Hermes client list. And this bag I'm going to show you is absolutely stunning. Don't forget that everything you see me talk about here on these videos is available to purchase from our Knightsbridge store in Love Luxury. And we also have an online shop as well. I'm just going to bring the bag closer to you so you can get a very good look at just how amazing this bag really is. 
absolutely stunning. The grey resin perfectly matches the grey that's on the gradient here between the brown, the darker brown, and the lighter white colour. And what's really special about these bags is the finish of the Palladium hardware. Now, Palladium hardware makes this bag just look absolutely amazing. Gold hardware would not have the same effect. And the reason is because these are cool tones and then we have the cool toned hardware. And actually palladium hardware is more expensive to produce than gold hardware is. And it's believed that the reason palladium hardware was ever put on Hermes bags was for VIP clients because when they had their solitaire engagement ring and were holding the bag, there's palladium on the hardware matched with the white or palladium of the ring would look absolutely stunning together. So these bags are very precious because they cost a lot of money, but they are very durable. Now the leather itself is actually very robust due to the nature of the leather that it is. But having said that, these creatures live in water. So you would think, it's a water animal, I can get it wet. You absolutely cannot. One drip of water can finish this bag. This bag is not designed to be out in any kind of shower storm. So that's a very important fact that you should know. And last but not least, let's talk about the stamp on this bag that tells you what the leather is. So underneath the flap here, we have Hermes Paris. Next to that, we have a dot and a dot, and that dot and dot means Nihiliticus crocodile. That's how we differentiate between this leather and the up-pointing arrow that tells us it's porousus leather. Now, there are other symbols as well, but between these two, you've got the up arrow porousus or the dot and the dot, which is the Nihiliticus crocodile. Also, this beautiful matte finish can become satin over time. How does that happen? It happens from your clothes rubbing against the matte finish of the bag. So every bag that you purchase that is an exotic skin will come with the CITES, and this is the document that allows you to carry the bag from one country to another, but it also tells you that the skin on the creature was ethically sourced, and that is very important. So I know the burning question that everybody wants to know, and that is how much does this bag cost in the store? So the retail price of this bag is 56,000, 500 pounds that's huge but what's even huger is the secondary retail price for this bag you would be looking at spending in the region of a hundred and twenty thousand pounds for this bag in this brand new condition with a full set from someone like ourselves here at love luxury this bag is super rare and a massive investment Something I haven't mentioned is that this Birkin 35 is even more rare than the smaller sizes because we never see these on the secondary market. A 35 is a super, super, super rare bag. You may see a Birkin 25, a Birkin 30 even, but the 35s are super rare. So that makes this bag even more exclusive than its counterparts. Thank you so much for joining us here at Love Luxury and hearing me, Emily Abraham, talk about this absolutely amazing exclusive bag. Don't forget that everything you see here at Love Luxury is available to purchase and don't forget to hit subscribe, like and comment.